Hi everyone, today we are going to look at a ratio problem and we are going to solve it using both models and then by algebraic methods. Let's go to the problem here. Danny and Kevin bought toys in the ratio 9 is to 5. And Danny, Danny then gave 45 toys to Kevin. And then the ratio of the toys with Danny to Kevin became 3 is to 5. How many toys did Danny have at first? And the second question, how many toys did Kevin have in the end? Now when you look at this, what we can see here is initially Danny and Kevin bought some toys in, the rest, in this ratio. Then Danny gave 45 toys to Kevin and the ratio changed. What we need to look for is what remains unchanged in this so that we can establish some relationship. Danny gave 45 toys to Kevin but the total number of toys with Danny and Kevin did it change before and after they gave they exchanged 45 toys? No, it did not happen. So that's our basis here. Let's first go ahead and write down or use model method first and write down the ratio of Danny is to Kevin right so first we are writing before meaning before any exchange was done here the 45 toys the ratio of Danny to Kevin was 9 is to 5 and what was the change Danny gave so he is losing 45 so minus 45 and Kevin is gaining 45 so I'm putting it as plus 45 and after the ratio is 3 is to 5 this is uh, kind of we're just noting it down now let's go ahead and draw the models so before the ratio was 9 is to 5 so 9 units and 5 units for Danny and Kevin respectively and the change what happens Danny is giving 45 to Kevin here and after that the ratio becomes 3 is to 5. You can notice two things here. The unit sizes here is not same as the unit size here because we know that the ratio in ratio the unit size on top this unit size and this unit size will be the same right but this unit size and this unit size may not be the same so we have put different uh, uh, shapes here, different size shapes here. But the second thing to note here is that the way I have drawn is you take at this total size from here to here and the total from here to here. They are the same. And the reason is because the total number of toys with Danny and Kevin, the total does not change. That's why I have put them like this. So. Now let's go ahead. I'm just going to put these together 9 and 5 as total of 14 units because that total is the one that is not changing here. Right? And after is 3 and 5, 8 units. So again, you can see here that the total size of these remains the same. Although the individual size unit sizes are different, the total size. Uh, remains the same which actually again indicates that the total number of toys with Kevin and Danny remains the same now I want to compare this unit with this unit because without comparison I cannot come to a conclusion so how do we compare uh, I need to actually find a way to divide them or make the unit sizes the same and the method that we use for that and we can use it only if we know that the total size is the same right so the method that we use is LCM least common multiple or the lowest common multiple we are going to find the LCM for 14 and 8 14 and 8 14 times 1 is 14 14 times 2 is 28 and 14 times 4 gives us 56 same with 8 8 times 7 gives 56 now there are other easier ways to calculate the least common multiple or lowest common multiple. 
we are not going into that this is just for us to know you know how we got the lcm visually that's all for this representation so 56 for 14 to become 56 you are dividing each unit of 14 into four smaller parts right and for eight we are dividing each of the unit into seven parts to get 56 as you see here and now before we go on let's take a look at here the five units here that belongs to Kevin All right but again here also the for this five units you can see that he has more now because of the extra uh, toys that he uh, was given by Danny to him so these five units again belong to Kevin now let's go ahead and expand and fill this all of them with the smaller sized uh, units and do the same here as well so now we can compare the unit sizes you see the unit sizes are the same so we were able to compare this unit sizes and 14 times you can see here 4 that is in total you have 56 units here here also you have 56 units now let's come here Danny Danny has got 36 units which means 4 times 9 so that is this 36 units and Kevin has got 20 units 4 times 5 that is the 20 units so let's compare Kevin here he initially had 20 units but then after he got the 45 toys he has 35 units so the increase in the number of units how much units increased that is 35 units minus 20 units which is 15 units so this 15 units represents the additional toys that he gained so 15 units is equal to or represents 45 toys so one unit represents how many toys we can find that by for dividing 45 by 15 so one unit represents three toys which is 45 divided by 15 so each of these unit here are representing three toys now once we know this we can easily figure out how many toys Danny had at first right so Danny had 36 units and one unit represents three toys so we know that Danny will have 36 times three toys let's just go ahead and record that as well at first Danny had 36 units so 36 times 3 gives you 108 toys and same at the end Kevin had 35 units so 35 times 3 gives 105 toys so this is the answer and we have used the model method here to solve this I hope this was clear now let's move on to use the algebra method to solve the problems again even in algebra method first let's start with the same thing that we did with the model method what we are doing here is Danny is to Kevin we are writing before 9 is to 5 change is 45 and after is 3 is to 5 right as per the question we have written that information down here now I want to write this in terms of algebra so I'm going to convert this into this here in algebra when we when you have a, a ratio we normally associate as 9x is to 5x here that is the initial ratio right and x here is some number when it is multiplied with 9 that should give the total number of toys at first now the change is the same and after you have instead of 3 is to 5 we are going to write 3y is to 5y right? that's the only small change that we will be doing here and 
that is reflected here before 9x is to 5x change is 45 so minus 45 and plus 45 here after ratio is this so now if you look at it I can look at this as one equation initially I had 9x toys and minus 45 given away to Kevin the final it became 3y toys right let's write that down here 9x minus 45 is equal to 3y that's equation number one equation number two we go by this initially Kevin had 5x toys then he got additional 45 toys and now he has 5y toys so we have another set of equation 5x plus 45 equals 5y that is the equation number two so this is uh, called a simultaneous equation in algebra so to solve this equation now what I'm going to do is okay let's say I want to make this and this the same how can I do that I can multiply this by 5 when I say multiply by 5 I'm going to multiply both the left hand side and the right hand side of the equation by 5 now question is why I mean what basis are you doing this the basis is very simple in algebra the left hand side should be equal to right hand side that's as long as we hold that rule then we can do what whatever we want and this condition still remains the same so in this case when we multiply both the left hand side and the right hand side by the same number this equality is not affected so we can go ahead and do that and why we do that I will show you in the next step so let's say I'm going to multiply this by 5 I get 45 X 5 times 9 is 45 and then 5 times 45 is 225 and 5 times 3 Y is 15 Y right so I have managed basically what we are trying to do here is to make these two equal here I'm multiplying by 3 the second equation so 5x times 3 gives me 15x and then 3 times 45 gives me 135 and 3 times 5 gives me 15 y so if you look at it for 5 and 3 I chose 5 and 3 right what is the least common multiple of 5 and 3 3 or the lowest common multiple of 5 and 3 it is 15 and that's why I'm multiplying this by 5 and multiplying this by 3 so that this is equal since I know that this is 15 y this is 15 y so what does it say this left hand side of this should all be equal to the left hand side here instead of 15 y sorry instead of 15 y here I can replace this 15y with this because this is also equal to 15y. So I am writing down here if you look at it 45x minus 225 is equal to 15y which is also equal to this so I am going to write it as 15x plus 135. Now to solve this I need to move all the x to one side and the numbers to the other side so 45 X minus 15 X uh, I have not done that here so what is happening here is I'm moving this minus 2 to 5 to the right whenever you move a number to the over this uh, equality symbol then the symbol or the sign of that particular number changes so minus 225 when you move here it becomes plus 225 so 135 plus 225 gives you 360 All right. and so again 45x minus 15x here will give you 30x 30x is equal to 360 which means x is equal to 360 divided by 30 which is 12 so we have found the value of x 
and with that we can easily say okay how many toys did Danny have at first Danny had 9 X toys and X is 12 so 9 times 12 should give the number of toys with Danny so at first Danny had 9 times 12 is equal to 108 toys now let's look at Kevin for Kevin the question is how many toys did he have in the end which means we need to know the value of Y right now to find the value of Y I can just use any equation this or this equation number one or equation number two substituting X value in equation one let's take this and substitute the value of X here 9x minus 45 is equal to 3y is the equation 9x we know is 108 as you see here 9 times 12 which is 108 minus 45 equals 3y so I can write it as 3y equals 108 minus 45 is 63 and which means y equals 63 by divided by 3 which is 21 right now once since we know the value of y at the end he had 5 y toys Kevin had 5 y toys so 5 times 21 which gives you 105 toys so when you compare with the model method we got the same answers so you could either use the model method or the algebra method whichever you are more comfortable using All right I hope this was clear if you have any doubts please comment and also if you liked the video like it share the video with your friends and subscribe to my channel if you want to receive updates further updates or further problems that we resolve in the future thank you have a great day